Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I've just been thinking that when the books of the Bible were first written, they were not broken up into chapters and verses. No, it was decided back then when to begin and finish a reading. If any of you know the answer to that, please comment below. Alternatively, you can write to me at dailyvisionbible at gmail.com. Please also remember that is the address to use if you'd like to read a section of Psalm 119 and appear in that episode. It's Leviticus 23 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people don't see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 23. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, The set feasts of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to be holy gatherings, even these are my set feasts. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of a solemn rest, a holy gathering. You shall do no kind of work. It is a Sabbath to Yahweh in all your dwellings. These are the set feasts of Yahweh, even holy gatherings, which you shall proclaim in their appointed season. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, in the evening, is Yahweh's Passover. On the fifteenth day of the same month is the Feast of Unliving Bread to Yahweh. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. In the first day you shall have a holy gathering. You shall do no regular work. You shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh seven days. In the seventh day is a holy gathering. You shall do no regular work. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you have come into the land which I give to you, and to reap its harvest, then you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the peace, and he shall wave the sheaf before Yahweh to be accepted for you. On the next day after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. On the day when you wave the sheaf, you shall offer a male lamb, without the fact a year old, for a burnt offering to Yahweh. The male offering with it shall be two tenths of an ephah for fine flour, mingled with oil, an offering made by fire to Yahweh, for a pleasant aroma. And the drink offering with it shall be with wine, the fourth part of a hen. You must not eat bread, or roasted grain, or fresh fruit, until this same day, until you have brought the offering of your God. This is a law forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. You shall count from the next day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be completed, even to the next day after the seventh Sabbath. You shall count fifty days, and you shall offer a new meal offering to Yahweh. You shall bring out of your habitations two loaves of bread for a wave offering, made of two terms of a he- ephah of fine flour. They shall be baked with yeast, for first fruits to Yahweh. You shall present with the bread seven lambs without the fact a year old, one young bull and two rams. They shall be a burnt offering to Yahweh, with their meal offering and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of a sweet aroma to Yahweh. You shall offer one male goat for a sin offering, and two male lambs a year old for a sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits for a wave offering before Yahweh, the two lambs. They shall be holy to Yahweh for the priest. You shall make proclamation on the same day. There shall be a holy gathering to you. You shall do no regular work. This is a law forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. When you reap the harvest of your land, you must not wholly reap into the corners of your field. You must not gather the gleamings of your harvest. You must leave them for the poor or for the foreigner. I am Yahweh your God. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The seventh month, on the first day of the month, shall be a solemn rest to you. A memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy gathering, you shall do no regular work, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, However, on the tenth day of the seventh month is the day of cleansing. It shall be a holy gathering to you. You shall afflict yourselves, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh. You shall do no kind of work in the same day, for it is a day of cleansing to cleanse you before Yahweh your God. For wherever it is, you shall not deny himself in that same day shall be cut off from his people. Whoever it is who does any kind of work in that same day, 
That person I will destroy from among his people. He shall do no kind of work. It is a law forever throughout your generations, in all your dwellings. It shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for you. You shall deny yourselves the ninth day of the month at evening, from evening to evening. You shall keep your Sabbath. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say, On the fifteenth day of the seventh month is the Feast of Tents, for seven days to Yahweh. On the first day shall be a holy gathering. You shall do no regular work. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh. On the eighth day shall be a holy gathering to you. And you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh. It is a solemn assembly. You shall do no regular work. These are the appointed feasts of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to be holy gatherings, to offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh, a burnt offering and a meal offering, a sacrifice and drink offerings, each on its own day. Besides the Sabbaths of Yahweh, and besides your gifts, and besides all your vows, and besides all your farewell offerings, which you give to Yahweh. So on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruits of the land, you shall keep the feast of Yahweh, Seven days. On the first day shall be a solemn rest. On the eighth day shall be a solemn rest. You shall take on the first day the fruit of godly trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of thick trees, and willows of the brook. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God seven days. You shall keep it a feast to Yahweh seven days in the year. It is a law forever throughout your generations. You shall keep it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in temporary shelters seven days. All who are native born in Israel shall dwell in temporary shelters, so that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in temporary shelters when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God. Moses declared to the children of Israel the appointed feasts of Yahweh.